Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you how to use the navigator in JavaScript to be able to detect capabilities and information of your web browser. So, first of all, let's just check if you know, JavaScript is enabled. You know, pretty obvious it will be enabled if we can, you know, even run it, but we can, you know, just check if, you know, it supports JavaScript. So, let's just do console.log. So this is will tell us if we support it. We just do navigator.java enabled. So sorry, my bad. It's for Java, not JavaScript. Mm, my bad. So Java, not JavaScript. Okay, and because it returns true or false, you could put this directly into a into a what's it called you know an if statement the next one we're going to check is a console.log navigator dot on line online so let's just check that out and this is just checking if we are actually online and it says we are online because the browser is online but thinking where where could you use this in terms of an actual you know real world scenario if you're on a web browser you're going to be online not necessarily what might happen is you might go into the website when you're online then for some reason your internet disconnects maybe you're i don't know you accidentally disable the internet on your computer or something happens to your router and then you try and do something on your on the web page without reloading it all you know the javascript code the css code that's already been downloaded that's already on you know the browser it's already on the computer so you can still trigger all of that stuff but anything that needs online capabilities won't work so this is great for that you'll be able to say okay no internet please try again later or please try refreshing you know something along those lines you give that sort of you know error message the next one i'm going to show you is console.log navigator dot device memory and uh, let's run this so it is saying eight so this will just tell us the amount of memory our device actually has next i am going to show you the vendor so this is pretty darn cool console.log navigator dot vendor vendor so google inc so this is just telling us the you know essentially the company of our web browser you can dive deeper you can get the exact you know version number the exact browser type there's so much information that you can get from this navigator in javascript what i'm going to actually do is provide a link so you can see all of the different little pieces of functionality that you can utilize so there's just too much to go through but as long as you know this is essentially the general format and i look forward to seeing you in the next javascript programming video